After spending over 500 hours with Cursor, watching every video and reading every article that I could find, I've gathered 23 pro tips to help you get the most out of it. I assume you are familiar with the basics, if not, watch this tutorial. So let's jump right into it. Give Cursor access to your browser. If you are working on an application that includes frontend, you can link Cursor to the browser and make sure it works. Use Cursor with voice just like this. Change the background color to red. In Cursor settings, under the chat tab, you have the auto run mode. Auto run mode allows you to add the allow list and deny list of commands that the agent can execute. Every developer has their own sense of how much control they want over the LLM. Make sure to update the command list regularly. Add debugging logs to the LLM to understand if it works or not. The core idea is to give the agent access to the actual runtime behavior, not just the statistic code. Use cursor.directory to leverage the wisdom of the crowd when it comes to rules. Commit often and always review the files before committing. Try to create new chats often in order to reduce response time and token usage. You can always change models. There are some LLMs that are suitable for tough bugs or deep reasoning, O3 for example. If the LLM doesn't implement your task correctly, try switching to another model. Always keep updated on the latest model and what they are used for. I'm using Open Router to see the trends. You can also sub to get the latest news of AI models. If you are new here, I share tips and tools to help developers ride the AI wave, so sub and like to help us provide more value for you. Use MCPs. You have probably heard about it. It allows the LLM to connect to external world and have extra context. As mentioned, connect to the official Figma MCP, very useful if you need to implement designs. Watch this video to learn more. The same goes for GitHub MCP, it lets you connect your GitHub account and fix issues directly from Cursor. Just be careful, generate a GitHub access token with minimal permissions, so the LLM cannot accidentally mess up your project. You are welcome to watch this video for a full guide. Integrate Cursor with GitHub so you can trigger Cursor from GitHub and use the bug bot like you can see here, it's kinda crazy. Use cursor rules wisely, I want to emphasize the option to attach cursor rules to specific files extension and to specific folders, this feature allows you to enforce the style you want on a specific files. Commit your cursor rules so they will be used by other developers. It will multiple your productivity and enhance the LLM knowledge of your repo and style. Reusing components and design systems helps the model produce cleaner, more consistent code and outputs. For large repositories or complex features, switch to ask mode. Pay extra attention to the context you provide. Think about it like a new developer who needs the resources in order to implement a new feature. In general, plan with ask mode and implement with agent mode. Pay attention to add sign plus web. This will search the live internet for current information, blog posts and community discussions. The same we have with add sign plus docs. It connects cursor to official documentation from popular tools and frameworks. Use it when you need the current authoritative information about the chosen tax stack. In cursor settings under indexing and docs tab, we have the docs option. It allows you to add your own documentation. You can also use the Google driver MCP to integrate it with external files. When you face errors in terminal, you can just add it like this. You can also attach images and screenshots. Make sure you have Linter, one of Cursor's standout features, it's its seamless integration with Linter extensions. Ensure you have a Linter like ESLint, set up and enable the Iterate with Lint settings. Run tests every major update or ask the LLM to run it, adding pre-commit and pre-push actions that always run the tests. Allow the LLM to run the test command. Cursor is a great tool, but a new giant is rising, Cloud Code. Is it the end of Cursor and Windsurf? Watch this video to find out.